Hello, hi, you seven students. Okay, we meet again for our online lesson for part 5 for this week, week 34. Okay, so previously, teacher had covered lesson on um, uh, variation in which uh, I have done for um, the factor, the fact um, uh, variation and also I have uh, some explanation on continuous variation. So for this part, I'm going to uh, repeat that again because it's the continuation, uh, uh, continuation from uh, this topic and also it is related to what I want to continue for part 5 this week. Okay, so let's start. For continuous variation, it is referring to the feature that vary in only a small amount from one individual to the next but when they are compact, they form a wide range. Okay, so uh, the example of continuous variation, it is the height and the body mass. Okay, I have explained also about this penguin um, for part uh, 4 last week. Okay, for continuous variation, it describes the situation in which there are a great many intermediate between the extremes. For example, um, the color, the, the hair color, the shades of hair color between black and blonde. Um, variation like this are under genetic control, but there are several pairs of genes involved, so this pair of genes. Okay, continue on about this continuous variation. So earlier, uh, I did some explanation, uh, some recap about uh, continuous variation. So this one about discontinuous variation. So this type of variation, uh, it involves the feature that shows a small number of distinct conditions. So very few are observed in humans. Example like uh, gender and ear loops. Uh, I have give, uh, I have provided uh, the picture of other example of discontinuous variation in which the widow speak. This one, the pattern, the hair, the hairline pattern on the forehead. Is it having or is it straight? Uh, the ability of the person uh, to roll the tongue or not? Uh, the ability of whenever you um, uh, pull your hand, meaning you place your uh, right and left hand together, which thumb will be on the top? Is it the left side or is it the right side? Uh, the length of the second toe, is it longer than your big toe or not? So this one is shorter, this one is longer. Uh, your little your, your little finger is it straight or crooked? Okay. Uh, the ear loop is it hand free or attached? And also uh, another thing about your ear loop is it having the Darwin's point or is it straight with no Darwin point? And the other one is the teeth pattern. Um, either the front teeth close together or having a definite gap. Okay. There are several people on earth who are observed with the teeth gap. Okay. For so discontinuous variation are entirely genetically controlled, cannot be altered by external conditions. You are either male or female, there are no intermediate, meaning there is no uh, the middle group between female or male. If you are male, then that's it. If you are female, then that's it. There is no uh, in between in between gender, between male or female. Okay, so your blood group also is either A, B, A, B or O. Um, other, than, other than that, the genetic defects like color blindness, albinism, the echo, the echo, the echondroplastic dwarfism, sickle cell anemia are all genetically controlled and expressed in a discontinuous way. So you either have this condition or you do not. There are no intermediate states. So meaning that if you have color blindness, there would there would not be the bit the in between uh, state meaning it's either you have it or you don't have it the color blindness. Okay, so let's see the example of the genetic defect. Okay, so this genetic defect is the albino the albinism, uh, meaning they have um a defect for their uh, melanin pigment, the black the skin pigment. Okay, it's either having the melanin or not. So meaning that if the person who are lacking of the pigment, the melanin pigment, they will tend to be 
So for a person who are lacking of the melanin pigment, melanin pigment they will be uh, whiter. So so for the albino people, they tend to be white because they don't have uh, the the melanin uh, melanin pigment on their skin. So the function of this melanin pigment is to um, uh, to provide uh, extra barrier for the sunlight, meaning uh, to filter the sunlight. Okay, so for the albino people, they will tend to um, be to, they will tend to be feeling uneasy if they expose themselves under the sun for too long, meaning they will be they will maybe they will experience rashes on their skin and their skin will easily uh, get burned by the sunlight. So they cannot be under the sunlight for a long time. Okay, next one, it's about the eye color. Okay, the eye color also a type of um, discontinuous variation. And this one is the dwarfism. Genetic defect. So meaning that um, he is one of the actors. Uh, he played, uh, if you guys have watched the movie Pixel, he is one of the racers. And also, he also starred in the Game of Thrones too. So this uh, actor, he's quite famous. So he had genetic defect in them, which is the dwarfism. Okay, but that will not make him less human. He is normal. So it's just the, it is just his height, which make him special compared to the other normal people. Okay. For the hair color, and there are many categories as hair color. Okay. Okay, the causes for variation. Um, the environment is the is one cause for variation. It will affect the feature of living organism, like the diet and amount of sunlight exposed. Okay, for example, the flamingo, their feathers, the feather color caused by their diet. Okay, so usually when they were born, they are white. However, their diet, they are spit on a type of shrimp. So uh, those uh, shrimp will give um, the feather color to be pink because the shrimp have the pink pigment in them. So the pigment will pass into the feathers of the flamingo and make the flamingo to appear pink. Okay, this uh, hydrangea flower too. Uh, the environment in which they are being grown will affect their petal color. So meaning that uh, for the hydrangea, for this flower that grow in the acidic then they will be pinkish. They will be pinkish in color. Okay, so uh, the hydrangea that have uh, bluish or the purplish uh, petals, they will tend to live in the alkaline soil. Okay, so the type of soil also uh, affect their petal color. For the one that has no color, maybe they are growing in the neutral pH, neutral uh, soil pH. Okay, uh, so that's it for um, topic variation and classification. Um, so, uh, for part 5, I want everybody to copy notes starting from this one. Eh, sorry, starting from this one, continuous variation. Copy all this. Okay. For this continuous variation, copy all this. Okay, example only two. These two only should you copy. Then the last one, please copy about the causes of variation, the environment. All of this. Copy all of this. So you have to copy three parts. Okay, class? So that's it. For part 5, I'll see everyone again for part 6. Okay, please make sure that everybody copy the notes. Thank you, bye.